What's up guys, Sean here, and today I'm going to talk about my experience at Mines IRL, which is not to be pronounced Mines IRL, as IRL actually stands for in real life. Bet you guys didn't know that, but I just clued you in. That's the nuggets of wisdom that you can expect from this video. But before we get started, this video is brought to you by Virtual Shield. Over the last 30 days, major institutions like Capital One, the Central Bank of Europe, and the great state of Texas have all been hacked and major data breaches. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these hackers are getting out of control. And it's only a matter of time before an institution that you're connected to or your personal information will get hacked. One of the best things that you guys can do to secure your information is get yourself a VPN or a virtual private network. VPNs can shield your browsing activity from prying eyes, whether you're on a public Wi-Fi network, whether you're in a foreign country where you don't quite trust the government, or even if you just want a more secure connection right here at home. And the VPN I use is Virtual Shield. It's incredibly simple to install. You just go to virtualshield.com, download the app, install it, and in one click, your browsing history is completely secure. And right now, for viewers of mine, if you go to virtualshield.com slash actualjustice, which will be linked in the description box down below, you can sign up for a 30-day free trial, try it, see if you like it, and you can get 30% off on all VPN plans, including their premium add-ons going forward. That's virtualshield.com slash actualjustice, Secure your information with Virtual Shield. And remember, since supporting my sponsors helps support this channel, you can secure your internet and support me at the same time. Can't get better than that. VirtualShield.com slash actual justice. Now, for those of you who aren't sure what Minds IRL is, Minds IRL is a conference put together by mythicists, Minds, and Subverse. And despite the information you might have heard or seen by a certain non-journalist who I won't be bothering to name in this video, there were people from across the political spectrum in attendance at this event and speaking at this event. We had people from the right, people from the center, people from the left. In fact, one of my favorite panels during the entire event featured a personal friend of mine, Jeff Waldorf, who works for the TYT network. So this wasn't a far right or alt right event by any stretch. The cartoonish depiction portrayed by the media matters, and I can't say this title sarcastically enough, journalist was ridiculous. I happened to coincidentally be out in the parking lot when this woman was claiming that she was being chased by organizers from the event. And I think I would have noticed a woman running in desperate fear from evil minds organizers or mythicist organizers. It didn't happen. It's absolutely ridiculous that she claimed that that happened. And considering that we had to have the event delivered to us via email just two hours before it started, the idea that she's going to play the victim, that she's going to pretend that she's being attacked, while everybody who had to speak and everybody who attended the conference were inconvenienced by protesters from their side, is another absurdity in and of itself. I'm just glad that that Media Matters person left before we started the rituals. Which, by the way, I want to give a special thank you to the Sugar House Casino in Philadelphia. Other venues backed out due to threats of violence from Antifa but they hosted the event, they have really nice facilities, and I enjoyed it all around, so appreciate that. And a special thank you to the Human Village Brewing Company in Pittman, New Jersey. They never backed down at all from Antifa, despite the fact that Antifa protesters showed up at the time of the actual event when it was taking place in Philadelphia, even though we were only there for the after party much, much later. These owners had to deal with threatening and harassing phone calls. They had to deal with people bombing their review page on Yelp, they had to deal with people showing up and taking pictures of the license plates of their cars, presumably to harass and dox them later. And throughout all of that, not only did they not back down, but they were mostly worried about the people who bought tickets to show up to see their creators. They were worried about their images getting out, them potentially being harassed, them potentially losing their jobs. So great people all around at the Human Village Brewing Company. If you're ever in Pittman, New Jersey, definitely stop by and leave them a positive review because again, their review pages were bombed by Antifa scumbags. That being said, overall, the event was incredibly fun. I got to show up not only as a fan, but as a creator, which meant I got to meet a ton of fans of my own, who I'm going to talk about a little bit later in this video. And I got to meet a lot of creators that I've been a fan of since before I even started this channel. And I found out that some of them were fans of me, which incredibly strange and incredibly jarring, 
but also really nice to know. Mike Harlow, who I met that morning, who actually told me about the event initially, and we decided to drive to Philadelphia together, is an excellent guy. He's one of the founders of Walk Away. I'm going to link his YouTube channel in the description box. I had a great time with him. We spent basically the whole day together. He introduced me to a lot of people that he knew. I introduced him to a lot of people that I didn't know, but I was like, hey, look, this is Mike Carlo. You should meet him. So definitely check him out. He's a great guy and he's doing a lot of good work. I got to give a special thank you to Lauren Chen, who you guys might know as Roaming Millennial for getting me the ticket, getting me the wristband that basically got me behind the scenes and allowed me to go everywhere. She's an absolutely great person, better than I could have possibly imagined meeting in person. Her and Liam, who is an excellent guy, by the way, and I'm showing you his Twitter on screen and I'll link it in the description box below because he told me at the event that he doesn't really use Twitter. And I think it would be really funny if a lot of you who are watching this video just went over and followed him on Twitter from this video. They were fantastic. I really enjoyed hanging out with them. I've been a fan of Lauren since she was roaming millennial and she never showed her face in any videos and she had a South Park avatar as her icon. So to find out that she's not only wonderful in person, but a fan of the work that I do is amazing. And I'm honestly shocked by it. I was shocked every time I met a creator that knew about my videos and knew what I did. To find out that Sargon, who I was also a fan of before I started making videos on this channel, had also seen some of my videos was great too. Count Dankula was hilarious to meet in person and talk to for a little bit. And although I barely got time to talk to Tim Pool, I did meet people that worked with him, a guy from Subverse, a woman who works with him regularly, and I got to meet his brother, Reactor, and he's hilarious to talk to. If you haven't seen his channel, I definitely recommend you subscribe. It's not political at all, but the guy's hilarious, and I love some of the work that he's done in the past, and it was great to chat with him for so long at the event. Now, there's a ton more people that I met for the first time at this event. Desi Ray, who does a channel called Desi Ray Thinking. Hopefully, she'll do a guest video for me at some time in the future. I met Melissa Chen. I met Andy No. I met the redheaded libertarian, got to talk to her very briefly. And while I could go on, you guys would just get bored, dislike the video, unsubscribe from my channel, and leave me a mean comment if I did. Now on top of meeting creators that I've been a fan of for a very long time and a bunch of new creators, I was really happy to get to meet fans of this channel in person. Now, if you've noticed so far, I've only named people that I'm 100% sure are out there and consider themselves public figures, and it doesn't really matter if I give out their names in this video. Anyone I'm not sure of, like the representatives from Mythicist, Minds, or Subverse, who are also fantastic people and I talked to for a while, especially the guy I met from Subverse, I don't want to name because I'm not 100% sure if they're a public figure or not. So I want to apply that same standard and not name any of the fans that I met because they may or may not want their names out there and I have no way of confirming that right now at the time of shooting this video. The first fan I ever met I ran into while I was in line for the bathroom. He's a great guy. He's been following me on Twitter for a ridiculously long period of time. Long term fan. I really appreciated meeting you and I appreciated talking to you later when I wasn't online from the bathroom when I met you the second time. There was a girl who flew all the way out from California just to go to this event and I got to chat with her in the after party, found out that she was a big fan of my Stop K-12 Indoctrination series. It was great to meet her and I liked her glasses. There was a guy I got to talk to for an extended period of time at the after party. He ordered a pizza and actually gave me a slice, which I really appreciated. He's thinking about starting his own YouTube channel. At any point when you do start that channel, dude, hit me up. I will definitely help you get your message out there once I see that you're producing videos pretty regularly. Thank you for driving all the way up from North Carolina just to come to this event, and thank you so much for the incredibly nice and kind-hearted Gab post that you tagged me in. I'm in awe that anyone is a fan of my work, and for you guys to not only be fans of what I do, but to be genuinely cool people to sit down and have a conversation with in person, just made my evening that much better. So yeah, Minds IRL is incredibly fun. If I am lucky to be invited to one of these events as a speaker or a panelist in the future, I would 100% do it and I would actually promote it instead of tweeting out the day of that I'm actually there. It was a great event where I got to meet in person somebody who's actually a personal friend of mine that I had never met in person. I got to meet content creators that I respected and I've been fans of. I got to meet people that were fans of my work. It couldn't have been better. And even though I already did, I wanna thank again everybody who made this possible. Now due to the fact that my experience at Minds IRL was so wonderful, I have actually created a Minds account. You can find me at minds.com slash actualjusticewarrior. 
And the reason I decided to go with that name instead of the name for my Twitter handle, aka at IamShawn90 or at AJWShawn, is because I found out during the course of being at my IRL that a lot of people followed another Twitter user who used Actual Justice Warrior as their Twitter name and they intended on following me and I could have connected with all these people a long time ago had that not been the case. So minds.com slash actual justice warrior. You can find me there. You can follow me there. I currently have zero followers and I'm incredibly sad about that. So yeah, that's all I really have for you guys today. If you were at the event, let me know what you thought about the event. Let me know if you guys who weren't at the event would want to go to it in the future based on this video. Let me know if you demand that Minds invite me as a panelist. In fact, let them know too, because they need to know that you guys would go if I was there. But you guys know the drill. Like and share if you enjoyed this video. You guys can follow me on all my social medias. You can support me via Patreon, PayPal, Subscribestar, and Venmo. Some of those are one-time donations. Some of those are monthly. You guys know the difference. Till next time.